You ready? <laughs> no high school. That's Whale Island. That's where I used to train with United Services. Because it's part of the, the Navy and the Army. Grassroots football is the start of everyone's journey. I started at Grassroots Football. If you ask many players, they would say the same thing. So um, coming back to the roots, coming back to where it all started can be quite emotional because that's the first kind of memory that you have of football. <laughs> Kev, I need to work on my head in, mate. Come on, let's show us how it's done. Oh, cool. Go on, get me up there. Ah, that's how it's done, boys. <laughs> right now, we're in Portsmouth, um, my hometown, where I grew up, um, where I trained when I was six years old, United Services. This is obviously the team where it all started for me. Six-year-old Mason, I don't think he'd expect myself to be where I am right now. Um, it's been a, a long journey. I loved every game that I played when I was younger and growing up and one minute I was that six-year-old coming through the academy um, playing games for my Sunday league team and now you're at a stage where you're playing for England and it goes so quick um, so just enjoying every moment making the most of that but yeah what a journey it's been and as I said before it's not it's not done yet I mean it's amazing now that I can inspire the, the, the youngsters coming through to follow in my footsteps. I take huge pride in that. Keep working hard, keep enjoying it. See you later. Thank you. Thank you, mate. My granddad, my dad, and also all my family, um, they've been so supportive. I definitely wouldn't be where I am right now if it wasn't for them. My granddad has been a massive, uh, a massive part of my journey. Uh, he always used to come to the games um, when I played when I was younger. And, he always used to come along and, and travel up to, to Cobham, where I was training for Chelsea. With him, I learned so much from him, and that kind of uh, that toughness, that fight that he has, and um, I tried to take all of that and use that in my football, and, and obviously me as a person as well. Of course, my dad as well, taking me to the games when I was younger, and his influence in football, being a manager, and everything that I learned from that um, really was special to me. That focus from a, a young age stemmed from also being from Portsmouth. Obviously, a, it's a very working class city and we're hard working. We do everything we can to be successful. And, and um, so yeah, that's why I'm extremely proud to be from here and, and everything that's happened. I've got the Air Max ones on. A shoe that I, I wore when I was younger also. Maybe I did scuff them up a bit when I was younger, but it adds character to a shoe. They represent growing up. I'd say it's the pinnacle of, of our sport, um, representing your country. You can't, you can't get better than that. I think for me, every time I walk into the dressing room before the game and see my name on a shirt hung up on the wall, you're not just representing yourself in that moment. So there's a lot of, obviously, pressure on that. And, and I always feel like, as soon as I see that shirt, it's now time to go and do everything that you've built up to that moment and put it onto the pitch and, and try and do the best you can. And it's such a, an honor to wear that shirt. And every time I do put it on, it, it is a real pinch me moment also. I'll, I'll always be a Pompey boy. Um, I don't get to come home that often, um, but when I do, it's, it brings me back to obviously all their memories that I have when I was younger. Um, to see the family and to come down to the, the seaside, um, it's so special to me, so when I do it, I always try to make the most of it. Um, and yeah, this is, this is the hometown, so yeah, I always see myself as from here.